friends, how are you? I hope your day has been nothing short of amazing as it should be. Happy belated Father's Day to all of our male friends. Happy belated Father's Day to your husbands and your sons and your brothers. And for those of you who don't have those special people with you anymore, we celebrated them well. I hope your Father's Day was amazing. Now, friends, I know I've been gone for a little minute and I missed a whole lot, a whole lot of that was going down here on these YouTube streets, but your girl is back. And today we discuss none other than the web of lies. Of course, let's get into it. Let's get into this discussion. Quick little disclaimer, I am still very stuffy and there is a whole lot, a whole lot of going on outside of my house. So please excuse the horrible audio in this video. I promise you I will make it up to you. Okay, let's get into it. So as we all know, a couple of days ago, Big Parmesan Kappa Heavy on the No Gown took to YouTube Live to basically throw a pity party. And the pity party was giving very much ghetto, very much woe is me, it's everyone else's fault. I literally cannot. So I'm going to start off with one of the most disturbing parts of that live. Don't get me wrong, it was not the most disturbing, but it was very much disturbing nonetheless. So she, as we all know, she gets on the phone with Mr. Webb and she's going back and forth. She went from Tupac to Ronald Isley in like a matter of seconds. I cannot. She was being very disrespectful knowing that her child or her children can hear her. Yet she was still being very much disrespectful to their father, which she claims not to do. Lie number one. This very live shows how manipulative she actually is and whoever can't see it i feel sorry for you honestly i mean she was cutting it on and off and that's why i said she went from tupac to ronald isley within a matter of seconds because one minute she was screaming and cursing and didn't give a f the next minute she was fake crying i mean where were the tears sis where were the tears <laughs> where's the bike joking so as she continued on with the pity party, she was going back and forth with Gerard saying, I'm a liar. How am I a liar? I haven't spoken to my children since you took them. But he continued to dispute that. Unbeknownst to him, he was being recorded. So if you have common sense, this will tell you who the true liar is. Why would he continuously dispute the fact that he didn't allow her to speak to the children when he doesn't even know that everyone else is going to hear it? Food for thought. Let's continue. She continued to try and guilt trip her daughter by getting on the phone crying. Oh, baby, are you okay? Where are you? Trying to make that poor little girl feel bad about being with her dad and to give her as much information as she can, which is very much so narcissistic. Like, come on, people, we know this. It was so disgusting how she turned that little whiny crying voice on with not one tear in sight now this is for all of the mommies not even this is for all of the women all of the parents because we all have a certain level of common sense right as a mother you're going to do your best to try and mask your feelings when it comes to your children i'm not going to let my children know that i'm in any type of distress any under any type of stress or sad because I don't want them carrying that kind of burden on their little tiny shoulders. But no, she's such a narcissist and so calculated that she isn't thinking about her children. She's only thinking about self and her bruised ego. And this right here only solidifies the fact for me that what he's saying when he says she uses their children as pawns against him isn't really that far-fetched. Like she loves to say, Oh, these people don't know me. You don't know my life. But we do know what you upload and what you share. And one plus one equals two. And honestly, the behaviors that you exhibit basically says exactly what he says, if you will. I am so glad that Gerard said, go ahead and lie and say you didn't speak to them on YouTube because you need your storyline. But... Fortunately, she can't do that because she recorded it herself. So we all know that she was allowed to speak to the children. And then she tells Antonisha to shut the F up in the background. What you have to understand, Big Parmesan, is that they are currently there with Antonisha and they are in her house. Gerard is in her house, correct? 
So if there is something going on and she chooses to interject, that is her right. Maybe she doesn't want her man arguing back and forth with you. We didn't hear what she said. You just don't want her to be heard at all. But you have to realize that is now her man and she is responsible for your children right now. So why are you even coming for her? You're so concerned about their safety, yet you're still continuing to disrespect the woman who is currently caring for them when your husband, soon to be ex-husband, is at work. Not smart, sis. But I don't believe that she would do anything to harm the children anyway. But I'm just saying in general, every mother knows anyone who is going to be around my children, I am going to give them the utmost respect, especially if I feel like my children are in quote unquote danger. You were just so fake. I can't. Let me be very clear. I'm not trying to be biased at all. If you know me, if you're a day one, you already know the vibes. Bias is not me. But what I am saying is that that's her home and that's her man. Maybe she's not comfortable with him arguing back and forth with his soon-to-be ex-wife. And that is completely okay. I do understand the fact that if it's about the children solely... Then she needs to, you know, stay in her lane and remain silent as she has been doing. So what are we really talking about here? And then she keeps screaming at him to give her daughter the phone. Let me talk to my daughter. Wow. How does it feel now that you're on the other side of the fence? Because as far as I can recollect, you told him to go and purchase iPads in order for him to speak to his children. So why don't you go and get a phone <laughs> or an iPad so you can speak to them directly? And this is exactly what annoys me about her. She's so one-sided and for self. She thinks that she can do any and everything to whomever she chooses. But as soon as the shoe is on the other foot, she can't take it. Narcissistic much? And also, one of the killer parts for me was her asking her daughter, where are you? First of all, sis, you know exactly where she is. Where did you think she was? Yakima? <laughs> like, where is she supposed to be? You knew this man was coming to get his children for the summer and taking them back to Texas. Hence him taking you to court in order for him to do so. So let's stop the cap heavy on the no gown. And just accept the facts. It is what it is. It is only the summer like we've all stated a million times. And the audacity for you to do that to your child and ask her if she's safe with her father. What are you really trying to accomplish by asking your daughter that question? Why wouldn't she be safe if she's with her father? Are you low-key trying to tell her that she should fear him? I think you are and that is absolutely disgusting and unacceptable. And let me just tell you, Mr. Webb was stating facts. He gave her a word. She told her daughter, make sure you call me every day. Okay, you know, the fake crying. He says, nah, you call her. You're the parent. And I completely agree with that. Did you have her calling him every day? Absolutely not. So you might want to head to the mall, get those iPads and make it do. So she goes on to speak to her son and the little baby and her son told her, mommy, I want you to pick me up, which is understandable. Like he's completely out of his comfort zone because he's never, he's probably never been there. I'm not sure, but he spends the majority of the time with his mother and you know how sons are with their moms. So that is really sad and I really do feel bad about that. But what was killing me was her putting her little donation nails up on her head with her head down as if she was just so stressed out. But then, you know, the uploads after that <laughs> tell a different story. Sis, which one is it? <laughs> but I mean, in in all honesty, it was pretty sad for him to say that. But from the looks of it now, according to, you know, Gerard and Antonisha's Instagrams, they look pretty fine. He seems to be having a ball. I think it was just, you know, those first couple of nights, it's like, okay, where's my mom? But don't try and make it seem like he's just so stressed out and doesn't want to be there. He has to adjust and you have to allow that. That's what co-parenting is about. You have to be an adult. So instead of gaslighting and, you know, using your manipulation against the children and their dad, you should have been encouraging them to spend time with their father. Like, you know, a mature mom would say, 
in a healthy, you know, co-parenting relationship. No, it's okay, baby. You have to spend time with your father also. It's only for the summer. You're going to see mommy really soon. Or being that you're so stressed out and they're in such danger, I would be like, you know what? Mommy's coming to Texas in a week. We can go to the park and hang out. But no, we know where you're going to be. Cooped up with solo no bands. It was really her holding her head in the palm of her hand <laughs> that is decorated by donation nails. And let me just touch on that really quick. Those people are complete idiots. Do you really think she didn't take your money? <laughs> she didn't put your dollars on her hands, literally, and go and get her hair braided by the Africans? If you believe that, you are more than a fool than we thought, honestly. Actually, I don't think it gets any more foolish, but that's not what we are here for. What I am trying to say is she claims that one of her really good friends, she said, I actually have really good friends. Where at though? Because when you needed money for the kid's doctor's visit, where were these friends? So they just miraculously show up when you need your hair and your nails done for your birthday? Yes, yeah, sis, stop the cap. We don't believe you. We all know <laughs> those cash apps funded those fingers and that head. And that's on period. I'm going to leave that alone because we all know it's bullshit. One more thing, like I told her enablers before, you were only donating to a payday loan. She gets paid on the 21st of the month. She needed her things done before then. So what did she do? Throw a pity party and started dry begging. Now, am I saying that she isn't going to use the money for a lawyer? No, absolutely not. But it's like a loan, you know, you're going to get me what I need until I get paid. And then I'll use the money for what I need it for when I choose to, which is completely stupid, to be honest, because what are you getting a lawyer for? What what judge is overturning this? Please point them out. <laughs> like, it's the delusion for me. It really is. So moving along to the part of the live that was most disturbing for me personally was when she continued the pity party once he hung up on her. And she went on to say, poor Robin. My poor baby, she's so afraid of him. Are you kidding me? So this is the narrative that you're going to run with all because you have a bruised ego. All because he just wants to see his children for the summer. Wow, you are really big different. Like I mentioned earlier in this very video, she then goes on to say that Christian asking for her to pick him up was indicative to something being wrong. Why, sis? He just misses his mother. That is it. That is all. He has to adjust. He's a small child. Of course he's going to say, mom, come and pick me up because this is something new to him. He's not used to it. Like, come on. It was honestly just too much like deflecting going on in this video. She's trying to demonize everyone who's involved or even remotely close to the situation, including his sister Nisi, all to deflect. And it's so annoying. She goes on to say this crazy, psychotic woman. She put my kids on YouTube. Those are her nieces and nephew. What is the issue with that? If the father consents to it, the father who currently has custody, then it is okay. What makes you think that you can strike her? And if she does do it, then Nisi, if you're listening, you need to fight it. And of course, Gerard is going to back you up because she claims that he had no idea that you did it, which is kind of stupid to me because he knows that you're a content creator. So if the kids are in your presence, they might just end up on your platform, no? Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's continue. So she feels as if Nisi recording the children and putting them on YouTube is such a violation as a mother and a parent. But you speaking ill of her dead son, is that not the ultimate violation? Like you really need to get your head checked. Seriously. Not only did you violate the HIPAA law by disclosing what happened to him in such graphic detail, but you violated the law of life. You violated the law of motherhood. You violated the law of humanity because how dare you mention something so sensitive just to hurt another woman. And as a woman who speaks of God so often, like you know him, and I hope you really do, because let me tell you something, just as how God giveth, 
God can taketh away. That is something for you to remember. So you might want to chill on those kind of insults. She goes on to claim that Mr. Webb is the kind of parent that will talk bad about her to the kids just so they won't like her anymore. But it's so funny because that sounds like exactly what she does. I mean, we've seen countless videos and lives to where the kids are sitting right on her lap or right beside her while she is bashing their father nonstop. So who's really that kind of parent? And then she continues to say, yeah, that woman that he's with in the background, she's so mouthy. She's just like all talk. Like, why are you so insecure? Is Antonisha really the one who's insecure? I mean, you're literally in front of the camera trying to look like her. <laughs> as we've seen before i mean with the backwards cap the box braids that were a complete disaster so it seems to me as if you are the one who is actually insecure honestly antonisha looks pretty secure to me and she should be because there is honestly no comparison as far as the eye can see and as far as the ear can hear and that's on what <laughs> period but in all seriousness, as far as that woman, as you say, is concerned, you might want to get well acquainted with her because whether you like it or not, your children are and will be in her care in the future. So this is something that you just have to get over. Okay, finally, to cover the part that was extremely disturbing and disgusting, to say the least, she had the nerve to say, you guys don't know him. He treats Robin a certain way in comparison to the other two children, right? She said that Robin is fearful of her father because of the things that she's seen and because of the way he treats her. She was basically alluding to the fact that Robin was mistreated by her father. So if she was so mistreating, right, and you're this self-proclaimed doting mother, you're this protector, right? You're this lioness when it comes to your children. You would lie down and die for them. That's what you said verbatim. So why exactly did you chase their father miles and miles and miles away? Why did you pack up those children, put them in that U-hole to go and chase this man that you so desperately wanted to be with if he was this way to your child? I don't care who it is, mother, father, grandma, aunt, uncle, whoever, anyone who mistreats my child in the slightest way will no longer have access to my child to do so. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is what makes you so contradictory. Like, what is it really? What Are you just trying to demonize this man and make him look a certain way because you're mad that he currently has the children? Because if that's what you're trying, well, that is what you're trying to do. And it's horrible. Your children may see this later. Do you think about that? Like, I feel like you literally only think about yourself. There is no way in hell someone is mistreating my child and I'm going to chase them. Because how does it benefit her to continue to be with an alleged abuser? Does that make sense to you? Like, I really don't even think that you think about what comes out of your mouth. You just go, 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 go because you're big mad. And that is one of your biggest downfalls. And that is going to be the downfall of you. At this point, friends, <laughs> I am completely done with this video. Make sure you stay tuned for part one. Let me know what you think about this mess down below. You already know the vibes. Like what you like, comment and subscribe if you aren't already. And I will talk to you down below and in the next video.